Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here at the 24th annual SGI Dubai. I'm coming to you virtually from New York, which is very appropriate because this year SGI is all virtual. Isn't that great that you can interact with over 400 brands, buyers from over 100 countries. You can learn about the latest in digital displays, printing techniques, AI, robotics, and retail. I encourage all of you to look around the exhibits today and network with your colleagues. This year's show is all about the move to digital. And I'm going to speak to you about how that affects digital out of home advertising and why it's so important. Thank you for inviting me and special thanks to Kartik and let's begin. So this is our organization. I'm the CEO of DPAA and basically anything that has to do with advertising outside the home globally is our purview. And we are basically leading and overseeing the digitization of the out of home medium and we're doing that with the advertisers, the agencies, and our whole ecosystem. And now this is a very short video just to show you some of our views on advertising and the omni-channel world that we're living in now. So consumers, brands are all living in this omni-channel world and out-of-home advertising is becoming a very important imperative in that. Here's our uh, membership, at least from our global media owner perspective. So our media owner members go from Times Square to Piccadilly Circus to train stations in Mumbai to uh, sports boards in Louisiana to bars and restaurants and cinema. New York Grand Central Station in the lower left, all over. And uh, we formed this uh, association that operates on a global basis that at our core are media owners, but to make the business work and to grow the industry digitally around the world, we have supplanted our membership with SSPs and DSPs from the programmatic space. Many hardware and software companies are with us. Of course, CMS systems, uh, real estate companies, transport, municipalities. So we put all of this together where everybody works together to exchange best practices around the world. And keep in mind, of course, that digital crosses borders. So that has been the power of what we do by taking the smarts of everybody and rising all ships. This is a series that we have been uh, working on this year, and we've interviewed the top advertisers and agencies around the world, mostly C-level, and they can give you some opinions here of what they think about the digital out of home advertising world. I look at digital out of home as a great vehicle for once people get back out, what better way to reinforce the fact that we're back out and together than having to be in front of me. Congrats to you and all your members, because I think you're on the leading edge, not the bleeding edge. You're on the leading edge of, you know, the technology advancement at scale. This is time to innovate, right? It's time to, to think outside the box, right? It's, it's a beautiful time to dream. It was one of the high, it was the, I think it was the highest growth channel um for for us and not just us but for the industry it was and it was really driven by digital out of home what i particularly like about uh what digital out of home does for us is the the flexibility anything the the out of home can do for for a business like mine is get them all digital as quickly as you can the so digital out of home is one of the things that i think is particularly interesting it's an, a, a, an additional way to amplify our presence i do believe there's a, a, a very big opportunity from a, a digital out of home perspective especially from a programmatic perspective uh, the ability to be incredibly targeted. It's a strong medium. Um, it's valued by the industry um, and it will return. And so with that, I would say, you know, let's let's just dig our heels in and, and get through the pain um, uh, because I expect sunshine to come out um, very soon. Out of home advertising traditionally has been a great median for branding and reach. Yet the marketing funnel starts with branding and reach and awareness, but then it goes down to consideration where someone is considering the product, the product values, and then they actually take an action, going to a website, making a purchase, walking in a store. The digitization of the out-of-home medium 
now enables us to work right through delivering on all aspects of that marketing funnel. So as we see, branding and awareness has always been something that out-of-home advertising has done well. Now we actually can go into not only reaching more people, but consideration. What is the product value? There's more information you could put on the screen. There's more detail that you can do in this electronic digital age. And then we actually now can enable site visits or enable people to go to websites and we can track that via the mobile devices. So it's a very powerful medium now operating up and down the whole marketing funnel. In addition to that, there are many aspects of media that are negative that we don't have in our digital out of home medium. Ad blocking, as you know, occurs in video and television online where you can block or, or zip through ads. Can't do that in digital out of home. The viewability issue has become a rather big issue where online is an example. If an ad is served, it counts as an impression. If a video stays there for two seconds, it counts as an impression. We count as impressions the whole 15 second advert or the whole 30 second advert or whatever it is. Going around brand safety, as we all know, the environment of which the advertising takes place has become a critical matters for, for brands and advertisers. So these are very positive brand environments. There's no uh, bias left or right leaning. There's no political bias. There's no uh, um, brand safety issues in terms of uh, fake news or anything. So the only star is really the brand. So that's very positive. And then online fraud is a big issue where bots act as a, a software that acts as a mouse, clicking on ads, gathering up tons of impressions, but because we're a closed system, that doesn't happen. So these are four big issues in media today around the world that are not an issue for the powerful digital out of home advertising. In addition to that, in the old days of say print advertising, you would uh, put an ad on the side of a road for a month or six months or a year. Now with the digital capabilities, we can change the ad up by time, by temperature, by where the audience is. And this is very exciting, making dynamic capabilities to change the creative, to be more effective and engaging and powerful and timely for the advertising environment. This is very exciting for all of us. We're also very excited about next year. Uh, we certainly know this year has been a challenge with uh, COVID around the world, but looking at next year, the head of global intelligence for Group N predicts that's going to be a very significant increase at 21%. The uh, underlying business of out of home is strong. The fundamentals are there. We just have to get people back out and about and digital as we're talking about all today has really empowered this medium to have even more growth and which very well positioned for this pandemic world. And why is that? And that's because a lot of investment has gone on during this downturn where we've invested in connecting the pipes, the programmatic SSPs, the DSPs, the delivery systems, the data management systems. And that has enabled all of these platform integrations to come out and actually be much more agile and much more nimble, meaning as opposed to changing contracts to target audiences or delaying uh, advertising because there's no audience there. We've been able to be very nimble via the programmatic aspect without negotiating new contracts, without getting people involved, just having some of the machines do the work. So this is very powerful going forward post pandemic. And this is what I just mentioned in terms of the flexibility and the agility of our medium now that automation is there. The data has been empowered like never before. And for all brands uh, that are very involved in reaching consumers via all channels, we are now basically seeing share shift of money that was previously digital, previously mobile, previously video, online and television, now shifting to out of home advertising because of the digital nature of what you're seeing here today. And of course, uh, all of this uh, portends even more growth where uh, Group M once again says it's the only traditional channel to experience such growth coming out of COVID. What's also great about this medium is that it adds reach to all of the media. You know, reach is important, frequency, impact is important. So anytime a campaign has another medium with out of home, the reach is empowered. And then we positively impact all channels. So this kind of goes to the uh, before, not only in terms of reach, but in terms of awareness and in terms of uh, efficacy. So all of that is improved 
by adding digital out of home to campaigns. And then the relevancy and the ad recall is also empowered by digital out of home in a campaign. And you know, the trustworthy nature of this medium is great. When you have an ad, an ad outdoor in the sunlight, you can't hide, you can't tell mistruths. So this is also backed up by a lot of the data that's indicated here. Research shows us that digital video displays are a great way to learn about brands, products, and services. In addition, when you have a digital screen, people pay more attention to that than static billboards. So this is a very empowering medium as we're moving towards digitization. In addition, the increases will keep on coming. And this is Verizon Media that talked about 90% of buyers agree digital out of home is a right place to invest because of these reasons. In addition, the growth rate will continue. These are some US numbers where we see the digital part growing very powerfully. And then programmatic digital out of home is also increasing. And this is where the US market has been a little bit ahead, but all around the world now, many of our members are operating in every area of the world, every continent with digital out of home programmatic. And if you want to speak to any of our members, let us know, of course. We do planner surveys that survey media decision makers. And we ask them a lot of questions about their advertising spend habits, their planning purchasing habits, and what they think of digital and out of home. What we found very powerfully, there's about 50 data points, but two that I'd like to highlight here. One is that as consumers do, they prefer content on screens in addition to ads. So when there's interesting content, be it sport, be it news, um, be it entertainment programming, people will look at the screens and advertisers find that's a good place to be. So that is a very powerful message here. Also, when we take out the uh, legacy systems of out of home, when we take out the friction of buying and selling and data, when we add in more automation, more programmatic, more of this digitization, planners say they would spend more money up to the tune of over 20% of their budgets on out of home because of that nature. Now, this is somewhat aspirational, it's not gonna happen right away, but uh, it shows that the power of making the medium digital, what really can happen here. And then outdoor stands apart, 13.5% growth. This is from Magna, which is a little lower than the Group M numbers, but it shows relative to other media where the growth is happening. So once again, very excited about out of home in its digital present and future. And then for those of you that are not familiar, go to Lumascapes, the Luma Bank, a very uh, focused uh, media bank, has designed an array of graphic charts on different media and different companies. And this is the one we work with them on for the out of home global Lumascape. And it basically shows the flow of business and who's connected and who does what. A lot of our members there. And then next year, our members around the world will partake in many events, virtual and hopefully some in person, but we have an array of events that our members get a chance to really share best practices, see who's doing what, uh, understand the needs of the customer. And it's a great place to really grow businesses because we rise all ships together. So I thank you all very much.